in this video I want to say give some results regarding this unit it is the uh, capacitor unit capacitance unit that goes from 50 picofarad up to approximately say uh, 2200 picofarad anyway so I can use it as a tuning capacitor I've made a, a video where you can see how to make it uh, with a few switches and a rotary switch this is the front of course and here is the back side I've now connected it to a two coils and one coil is acting as a kind of uh, antenna filter a bandwidth filter and I think it, it has a quite sharp resonance so um, it is useful to discriminate uh, in a precise way a certain radio station anyway that's the first thing here that's the band filter and here is the tuning uh, the tuning coil it's slurk tuning and it is connected here to the filter vector sister the schematics are all on my YouTube channel so I don't want to elaborate more this is such a sharp filter for certain frequencies uh, as far as I know on long wave and here we have that slug tuning and also for the long wave frequencies I'm now receiving uh, the BBC and it is not very noisy and that's a good thing uh, by the way important to tell we have here that 47 picofarad capacitor it's connected to an outdoor antenna in my garden approximately 10 meters and here 10 meters 47 picofarad and with that uh, say coil in the foot of an antenna you can quasi lengthen the uh, antenna and that makes that you can receive uh, radio stations on say VLF very long frequencies um, uh, because of that say kind of antenna filter but also a coil that quasi lengthens the antenna to the 200 meters perhaps 1000 meters etc etc where all these uh, lo uh, VLF radio stations work so let's start to listen uh, I am and was always interested in the BBC reception they uh, sent out radio signals radio transmissions on VLF switch on my audio amplifier now and you hear that BBC radio station in the Netherlands 11 March 2024 so uh, perhaps interesting to show that when you use that capacitor circuit that I've published here that you can tune you can tune in and tune out so here there is somewhere the best uh, reception and you can of course try another coil connection here it works better etc etc so anyway uh, let's try to get to a uh, Eastern Europe radio stations I 
have to do this, I have to say, take the ferrite rod, push it into the, the band filter in the antenna circuit, and then try to go to other frequencies. Let's try. This is important here. I move the ferrite rod in and out and will try to get, I have only one hand, to the best reception of that Eastern Europe radio station. I received in the Netherlands in the Utrecht region. Put it in again. <laughs> so, perhaps a better demonstration is this. And I have to say, perhaps I hear the word Oslo, perhaps it's not from Eastern Europe anyway. Uh, when you are, listen to this and know what radio station this is, I'm interested, of course, like I told in an earlier video, when I was listening to Hungary, that proved to be Hungary. Anyway, again. But anyway, uh, that's of course good, real what we receive now. But I also want to show that the, say, tuning cap that I published also this day has an important influence because we have here a sharp band filter. And in this case, I think for medium wave or long wave, etc. Let's listen. So now we tune out. And now we tune in. To use my other hand to show it. So, the only thing that I wanted to tell here is that you can use uh, this broadband tuning capacitor that I published uh, today for serious radio experiments. Switch now to another position, higher value position, and it doesn't work. Another position, it doesn't work, so you can surely find out And now I switch to position one. So you can surely see that with a certain position of that tuning cap in that band filter application, uh, you can say tune in sharply to a radio station. Uh, the, uh, the noise that is fading away is my audio amplifier that's here. Anyway, um, well, 
the band filter again without that 47 picofar rad you get a lot of noise and it uh, say uh, shit in a certain way so this is also a kind of filter in combination with that uh, band filter is directly connected to the gate of the filter vector transistor it's the bf 256a i want to refer to all my earlier schematics and i will give them in the description thanks for watching let's listen again finally could be interesting Thanks for watching.